Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about speed ramping, how to film your clips, and then how to edit it in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into the video. All right, so there's two parts to this video. The first part is gonna be how do you film your clip so that you can then speed ramp it when you get into DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanna know just how to do the Resolve stuff, check the description below. I'll put a link to where that starts in the video. But first we're gonna get going on how to film your clip. Maybe you're not sure how to do it so that it works good to speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get set up here on how to film our clip. All right, so before we can get over to DaVinci Resolve, we need to get some clips that we can use to speed ramp. And one of the things you need to keep in mind when you're filming your clips to speed ramp is you wanna have smooth movements of your camera. You don't need to come in fast, go slow and come out, or do any kind of crazy movements because that's what you're gonna do in the computer for the speed ramp. But you wanna have smooth movements all the way through your clip, through the range of your clip. So I have our little four-wheeler here. I'm just gonna use that for some B-roll. I'm gonna get some clips here and then we'll jump over into DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna see how to speed ramp those clips. I'm in DaVinci Resolve, I brought in my clips and I'm ready to get started creating a speed ramp clip. One thing I forgot to mention earlier when I filmed my clips, I actually filmed them at 60 frames per second. This way I've got slow motion. So my timeline is set up to be 24 frames per second or 23.976. And in order to have my clips play in slow motion on the timeline, I wanna select all my clips, right click, come down to clip attributes. And I've already changed this, but you wanna change your video frame rate here to match whatever your timeline is. So I've already done it here, and then click OK. Now, when you drag your clips down into your timeline, they're gonna be in slow motion. So I've got a clip here that I wanna use. I've already set in points and out points, and I'm gonna grab just the video file, bring it down into my timeline. So to create the speed ramp, there's a few ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the way that I use, which I think is the quickest, but here's how you do it. You click on your clip and highlight it. Then you press Command R, and that's gonna bring up little arrows on your clip here, and it's gonna show you 100%, which is how fast your clip is playing. If I play through a little bit of the clip here, you see it's in slow motion, and it's looking okay so far. The other way you can bring up the speed settings on your clip is to right click on your clip, come up to Retime Controls, and see, we just use the shortcut here, Command R. The next thing I wanna do is look at my clip, and I wanna scrub my slider to wherever I want my first speed point to be. So let's say I want it to be here. To create a speed point, we're gonna click on the little arrow next to the 100% and we're gonna select this option, add speed point. So now you can see we have two parts to the clip and they're both at 100%. The next thing I wanna do is just continue to scrub to see where I want the speed ramp to start again. So I'm gonna say maybe here, go with that I guess. So I'm gonna come click the arrow, add speed point. Now right now they're all at 100%, so there's a few ways we can change that. I want the beginning and the end to be a little bit faster. So if I click on the arrow next to the 100%, I can change speed and select whatever I want here. In this case, I'm just gonna pick 800 for both clips. Now that I've got both clips selected 800, I'm gonna play it and we're just gonna see how that looks. Not too bad. Now let's say maybe I put the speed point in the wrong spot and I wanna move it. How do I do that? Well, looking at your clip here, you've got two little buttons here on the top and bottom. If you grab the bottom button here and you drag it to the right or left, it's gonna make this part of the clip either longer or shorter, but it's gonna keep the speed of the clip at 800%. And likewise, this one will stay at 100%. So I can drag it down, I can drag it out, and it keeps those speeds that I set. If I click on the top button and I drag that, you see it changes the speed of the clip. So you can see that first clip there is changing as I slide this slider back and forth. So I'm gonna say, let's say I wanna bring it back a little bit. So let's see how that looks. Comes in a little choppy, it's pretty slow. So in the middle here, I wanna change this to 200%, just to speed it up a little bit for now. So if I play through it, comes in fast, slows down, and speeds up again. One thing you notice though, is it's kind of choppy when it goes from the 800% speed to the 200% speed. So we can smooth out that transition. And to do that, you wanna have your clip selected. And if you hit Shift C, that's gonna bring up more options for you to take a look at. Come over to the top left here, you're gonna click on that and come down to Retime Speed. Once you've clicked on Retime Speed, it shows you a graph of what your speeds for your video looks like. 
So up here, we can see it's at 800%. It's a hard cut right down to 200%, and it hard cuts right back up to 800%. So in order to ease in and ease out those transitions, it's pretty easy. Just click on the little button there, and then you wanna select the option that looks like an arc up here on the left. And now you see it's kind of eased it in and eased it out. And I'm gonna do that for both sides here. And let's make our clip a little bit bigger here, and let's see how that looks. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit smoother. It's not too bad. And now let's say that I wanted to make my clip go faster than the 800% that I saw here. But when I look at change speed, it only goes up to 800%. So how do I change that? When you're in your retime speed controls down here, you see a little number at the top, a percentage number. And notice when I hover over it, you get a double arrow. Well, if you click and drag to the right, that's gonna make that percentage go higher. And that's really just telling you how much speed percentage do I see in this little graph area down here? So I can drag that up as high as I want. Let's say I wanna go up to 2000. Let's see if I can set it to right to 2000, 2005. Now let's say I wanna speed up my 800%. When I hover over that portion of the clip, you see I get two little arrows up and down. And if I click and drag up, it speeds it up. And if I click and drag down, it slows it down. So I'm gonna speed it up. Let's say I wanna do, I don't know, let's say 1100 here or about that. And I'm gonna drag the other side up too, about 1104 that was, so see if we can get close enough. All right, make our video a little bigger here and let's see how that looks. So you get the idea, you might need to play with the speeds to determine what works best for your video, but that's kind of how you do it. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. And if you wanted to change your curve or adjust that transition at all, you highlight your point and you can just drag these guys in and out and it will either make your transition longer or shorter based on however you make the graph look there. So now I'm gonna go through the rest of my clips that I have here, put together a little B-roll sequence, speed ramping each clip, and then I'll play that at the end so you can see what it looked like. Once I got all my speed ramps set, I went back, added an adjustment layer, threw on a LUT, did a little bit of color grading, threw in some music, and here's what we ended up with. There we go, how to film your B-roll clips so that you can speed ramp it in DaVinci Resolve. Hope this helped you out a little bit, and if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.